evaluating the cognitive interview as a method of increasing the accuracy of eyewitness testimony. Research studies have shown the cognitive interview to be effective. For example, Conken, 1999, conducted a meta-analysis of 53 studies and found, on average, an increase of 34% in the amount of correct information generated. However, it may be that only certain parts of the technique are useful. Another study found that when each element of the cognitive interview was compared to a control group, recall was very similar across all conditions. It was only when a combination of mental reinstatement and report everything were used that recall became significantly higher than all other conditions. This suggests that the cognitive interview is useful, but not every aspect of it. However, other studies suggest that the interview technique also leads to more incorrect information being given. The procedure is designed to enhance the quantity of correct recall without compromising its quality. However, it may be that only the quantity of the information given is enhanced in the cognitive interview. Conken, 1999, found an 81% increase in the amount of correct information generated, but also a 61% increase in the amount of incorrect information when compared to a standard interview. This suggests that the cognitive interview is only useful in increasing the quantity of information and that police need to treat all information collected from this method with caution as it does not guarantee accuracy. Furthermore, the cognitive interview may not be very easy to carry out. The technique requires much more time and requires special training, limiting its effectiveness as it is not practical to carry out for every crime. Unfortunately, police often use deliberate strategies to limit an interview to save time and many police forces have not provided the necessary training to conduct a cognitive interview. Therefore, use of the cognitive interview is not very widespread.